G'day, I'm Luke from Drift and we're here in the Brendale store up in Brisbane and uh, today's sort of officially our, our open day so hopefully it's going to get really busy today and um, pretty excited to you know uh, meet a heap of people and show them what we do so uh, yeah now it's been a big uh, or fairly fast journey the last month there's only a month ago Totti said to me oh what about we put a shop in uh, Brisbane and I said yeah it's a great idea so uh, we raced around looking for places and we've got a really good spot here there's uh, lots of room and it's uh, front road access so uh, anyway this is the shop I'll come in and show you and feel the things what we're doing so uh, the good thing about our shop here is um, we've got a lot of unique products that you can't see anywhere else and we've got a collection of four driving camping gear that you won't see in one spot anywhere else in the world and that's pretty unique uh, we've got some really new brands <coughs> that we're doing we've got factor 55 uh, closed loop winching systems we've got the interflate We've got the dead man uh, recovery systems. <clears throat> we've got all our own gear. So our dot trailers, our kitchens, our drawers. Uh, we've got all the snow peak and uniflame gear. And uh, so a lot of stuff that we're selling. We've got the ultimate campers, we've got the eye campers. And like I said, there's nowhere else you can go into one spot and see all of this gear together. Um, what we're finding as well, we've been sort of open for four weeks now and a lot of people have actually been flying into Brisbane and getting an Uber up to our shop. It's only about 20 minutes down the road at the airport, so it might sound a lot, but if you're in Perth or Adelaide or Melbourne, you know, you can get a ticket these days for a couple of hundred bucks, get an Uber over to our shop, and you can spend a few hours here looking around, and we can freight stuff back to you. So, you know, that's, um, you know, because we're in Gloucester, normally our little factory's down in Gloucester. We're our big factory now, we've got four acres. Uh, but, you know, we're four hours from Sydney, really, and it's not something you can just easily get to. Um, but, yeah, it's something to keep in mind. Brisbane here, we're only 20 minutes from the airport, just up the road, it's only one turn, north on the M1, left, and you're straight to our shop basically, so very easy to find, and um, not a bad way if you're, you know, you're going to come and watch the footy, or you want to do something, we're open Saturday mornings, we're open Tuesday till Saturday every week, so if you've got something to do in Brisbane, you know, come and stay in the big smoke and have a look around, you can easily come up and see our store. So, I'll show you around, this is just a little set of drawers here. Um, these here are our new uh, uh, <coughs> fridge divider, All right, so it's um, plasma cut aluminium, you can see it's got a nice logo in there, so we used to do a timber one, but that's obviously a lot better, lighter and also stronger, so they're our new uh, fridge dividers. Um, a bit of stuff here, just some of the snow peak gear. This here I wanted to show you, We've been, um, this is our new, newly developed rooftop tent that's going to go on our dot trailers. So what it is, all the rooftop tents that are designed are made for, for vehicles really. And for that reason they're only about 1400 wide. Now we've been able to make this one 1600 wide and that now fits a full queen size mattress. So it's a 1.6 mil aluminium um, shell. And I've been mucking around a lot with rooftop tents recently. This type of uh, hinge at the rear flip up is, is, is a way better system than ones that come up together like that, like some, some others. We've tried those and they just don't work because when you get them up, you've got to get them up fairly high. Some of the ones they only lift about this high. So if you're in bed, you, you, you can't sort of stand up or you can't kneel up and it's quite awkward crawling around when you sort of crouch down low. These ones here, and also when you lift it up on both ends, you don't have anything to keep it structural and tight and secure. Um, I mean, they do come up with systems to do that, but it's quite complicated and not easy to do, and things can go wrong. So this simple clam shell is definitely the, the answer, because, you know, on one end, you can almost stand up if you wanted to, you know, pull your jeans on. You can stand up, up in there, and, um, and, and you can put your head sleeping at both ends. It's not, it's not too tight at that end uh, to have your head down that end. The other thing we've done as well, you can see, we've got a little bit extra length. Because we've got the trailer, so this is 2250 long, so we've got a lot more extra length. This one's completely unfinished, it's our prototype. This here is going to be insulated, it's going to be lined in uh, 12 mil ply and carpet. It's going to have um, pockets and bags all over it. It's going to have uh, a RAM mount for your iPad. It's going to have electrics down the back here for um, LEDs and that's going to have LEDs underneath, so you can turn lights on and you have lights underneath. Big tall windows, got a little ventilate, vent window up the top here as well. So with the big tall windows you've got plenty of ventilation and you know it's a very stable rooftop tent. All Australian made canvas, all made in Australia. We're making the shell ourselves a drifter 
and we're getting this tent made from Australian canvas just up the road here. So the other big thing with this tent is the big annex or the awning over the over the entry area. So we wanted a, a much larger area. Most of the rooftop tents either have nothing over the ladder area or very small amount of coverage. So imagine you, you're in and out of bed and it's raining and you've got lots of coverage here. So that was a very important point. These poles you can see, they're gonna actually uh, connect up to the stone guard of the trailer. All right, they'll stick into a, a, a bracket in the stone guard so that'll hold it out nice and tight. So you're not gonna need these ropes. Again, this is just a prototype. The, um, the door, we've done it as a D, all right? So what it is there, you can just have that half open and you can duck in and out. No problems at all, okay? Most of the rooftop tents, or a lot of them, have the, have the door like this here. All right, and because it's like that, you can't climb over it unless it's fully down. And if it's fully down, you're climbing over the top of it. Or if it's out here, it's you know getting in the road if you're getting in and out. So it's got a lot more opportunity to be damaged or broken. So this is okay on the side. Right, but if you wanted to have the D shape on the uh, on the entry, so you can just climb in there. Now that there too, this mattress is a six inch inner sprung mattress. So you know uh, rooftop tents generally don't have a very good mattress. Um, because of their design, but because this is on the trailer, we've got a six inch inner sprung mattress, queen size, and you can't get better than that. I don't think there's anything on the market like that available at the moment, so pretty excited to have this one finished. The next one's gonna be a lot better, a lot more finished, will be powder coated, look really good, and we can fit those on all of our dot trailers and also other trailers as well. Now the other thing with this, it's going to have, it won't have a ladder, okay? and uh, we're gonna have on our trailer the walk-up design over the front toolbox, so we'll show you that as well later on. But there's no ladder, it's literally gonna be a walk-up design, the toolbox will be here, and you can just walk straight in. The biggest thing with rooftop tents, the biggest pain with them is, one, getting the cover on and off, hard shell solves that problem. Two is the ladder, okay, and our design will have no ladder, it's a walk-up design. Three is the mattress, and we've solved that with a massive queen size inner spring mattress and four it's the coverage over the awning area and we've solved that with a nice big area here and then the other problem they just don't have many features you know there's no light not many lights and you know there's some some around that have you know a lot of money with no lights and no usb plugs things like that so we're going to have a 12 volt fan usbs lots of lots of uh accessories inside so that's our new hard shell walk up rooftop tent. This is a little eye camper, okay? So we've also got this option. These fold out, you know, like the one we're making, queen size bed, but it's really always only for two people, okay? So if you've got young children or, you know, children you want to have in the tent with you, you need to go something bigger, and that's where the eye camper comes in. So it's got a hard shell, okay? The advantage of the hard shell, which is super quick setup, and it folds out to create that little bit extra space. So it's 2.1 square inside and uh, gives you a lot more space. So they're a very popular thing, We're putting them on a lot of vehicles, a lot of trailers. We're the dealers for those, so we can supply them as well. That's a little dot four. Great little trailer. You know, that's a four foot long trailer, 1200 long, 1200 wide. You wouldn't believe it, but it's got a ton of space in there. You can put, I mean, this eye camp is sitting here. It's not really designed for a little four foot trailer, but you could, um, just, we've just got it there for display. But, you know, these little equipment trials are great, and we're selling a lot of those, and they're very popular. So, uh, that's a little dot four equip. This is the Interflate. We're the uh, exclusive Australian distributors for Interflate. It's a South African made product, it's very popular, very good quality. Okay, so it's made over in South Africa, and uh, we've just started getting them in. How it works is just a gauge with uh, two leads. The main design is it's got two leads instead of one. All right, we've made a little bracket up so you can buy the bracket separately, then you hook that up wherever you like. One of the secrets of Interflate, they've got a very high quality valve clamp on the end. Uh, it's brass, very good spring on it. Now you all sort of know the you know, gauges you've got yourself. You gotta clip them on and the air just leaks out unless you hold them on. But these ones are so positive locking, you can put them on, all right? And they just won't uh, have the air leaking. 
Now that's really important, um, not just for deflating, but when you're inflating. Because the secret is you can hook both these up to both tyres. Alright, so that one will go on the other tyre. And um, let your air out like that. You've got the gauge, and it does two tyres at once. Now when you're inflating, you can put a small adapter on here that we make up. Hook up your ARB compressor, and you can, um, you can inflate two tyres at once without having to hold this on there. So that's the big advantage. You can do it, that's pumping up two tyres and you're not having to hold that on so you can go around and clean up your car and do other things. So we've, we've had very limited stock up till now but as of next week we'll have stock um, on hand and uh, we can sell those out, send them out in the mail. This is the Ultimate Camper, All right, so we've become de dealers for the Ultimate Camper. It's a little bit different price point to our trailers, we're sort of maximum range about $40,000. And these are sort of 55, 60 grand up to about 75, 80. So, you know, this had a massive following over the last 10, 15 years. Um, beautifully constructed trailer and designs, very lightweight. It's quite luxury because it folds out. You've got an indoor kitchen, so some people like that sort of thing. So it's a little bit like a crossover. Uh, there's nothing really, there's nothing much like the uh, Ultimate. Um, come inside and have a quick look. You know, so, yeah, it's a premium style camper. One of the advantages of this one is you've got a king size bed, so it folds out very easy. This top section folds over onto here, and it just flips over very easy on gas trucks. So, you've got a king size uh, uh, mattress, all right, it's nice and thick, and uh, there's not very many camper trails that offer that size mattress. The other thing, you've got an internal galley, okay, and nice lounge as the table goes here, uh, indoor, kitchen, shelves, hot and cold water, it's got all the features. So if you're travelling on a quick stop, this is the luxury, you know. Flip it open very easy, five minutes, you can get inside here and uh, be quite comfortable. So, and the other thing is it's all fiberglass, uh, it's very, very strong, independent suspension, and they are real, um, you know, touring, luxury little trailer. So if you've got a caravan and you want to get off the beaten track a little bit more and you want, you like your a little bit more comfortable as well then this is um, certainly a good option so we'll have this in the store you're welcome to come and have a look and we can show you through it this here is also uh, on your table setup so the ultimate doesn't really come with an external kitchen and that's one of the things that a lot of people like to do so we've been able to combine this through a simple bracket on the back um, on the back there on the back bumper um, we've got an extension bench we've got a corner bench We've got an iron grill table four. We've got three different options of uh, cooker. You can have a, a metho stove, all right? That runs off metho, no gas bottles. You can have a barbecue box from Snow Peak. And you can also have a uh, propane stove. We're importing one from America that fits in there really nice as well. So, so we've got a drop shelf here on the iron grill table. It's such a versatile system, the IGT. We've got some height adjusters for a drop shelf and then you can sit down and that's uh, now sitting height. So, you know, imagine if that's, you know, you're camping and you can set this up so easy. Like this stuff looks a lot, but it's very simple to set up. Got some brackets there to come out. And these legs just clip in really easy as well. So you can set this up in minutes. And uh, that's create some great external sort of options for cooking. All these, with the on grill table, it's all so versatile because you can, uh, basically the frame is this aluminium frame on the outside. You can put anything you like in here. There's so many different um, accessories that go with it. And you can do almost anything. So that's the ultimate camper. Over here, we've got a little old tent set up. Um, got quite a few bags in stock so we'll have we we're not going to have all the bags of all our range but we've got most of them and we're stocking up more as we go. A little lots in here to look at. These are the bags of course we've become quite well known for our range of canvas bags which is great. Um, you know we can almost we can't keep up making them. All YKK zips all strain canvas and we've got over 225 bags in our range so there's pretty much something for everybody. We've got different colours so different members of the family one can have a blue a pink a green Camo. Um, we've pretty much got a bag for everybody and uh, very high quality. We've got a lifetime warranty on the bags. If everyone ha has a have a problem, we can easily fix it up. Because we're manufacturing ourselves, we can uh, repair bags if needed to 
Although things like the zip, so far we've never had a failed zip and we're doing over 500 bags a month for the last few years, so very high quality. Um, in the middle here we've got some Snow Peak gear on display. These buckets are really good. All right, Snow Peak product, uh, very handy those. Some soft coolers, some tote bags. This is pretty much the Snow Peak range. Uh, the fire pits of course. One of the most, uh, you know, the flagship product for the Snow Peak is the fire pit. And uh, great little design. You know, pretty much, uh, you know, at some stage most stripper fans will end up with a Snow Peak fire pit. And that's your base for your outside cooking. Um, here we've got some Uniflame gear. So that's the Uniflame style fire pit, a little bit different. The Uniflame smokers, which are very popular. Right, if you're getting into smoking, these are so good, they fold down completely flat and quite lightweight. This is the Uniflame spun steel camp ovens, quite heavy. Okay, it's like four or five mil spun steel and super high quality made in Japan. We've got the Snow Peak field oven, so these are great. It goes on your fire pit or on your barbecue box. And you can now cook pizzas, you can do roast, you can do, that's basically a small oven and you can cook a lot of things in that. More Snow Peak gear here. Um, a lot of small accessories. Snow Peak's got a huge range of gear that they sell. And also some Uniflame. Uh, again, more Uniflame gear here. Uh, that is some really high quality um, tongs and all things like that. Japan's really well known for making uh, very high quality, quality uh, metal products, like small metal products. So it's ideally suited for them. Cups and mugs and plates. The Japanese are world leaders in making those sort of high quality small steel items. More snow peak gear here. We've got the silky as well, so we've got a <coughs> quite a big range of the silky gear. Again, Japanese company, been going for over a hundred years now. And, uh, that works really well with the drifter products and the fire pit. You know, if you're out the bush and you're collecting some fire with the silkies to go for that. <coughs> So here's our iCamper. camper. Right, so this is a fairly new trail, it's got independent suspension, it's got the iCamper camper on top, it's got our big kitchen at the back, it's got the fridge box kitchen, entertainment panel here. Okay, so we've got a fridge here, the kitchen, you know, it's luxury camping, there's uh, lots of bench space. Uh, we can incorporate the on-grill table as well. Here's the barbecue box. Um, so all your charcoal cooking can be here. Got the big super wing 2.5 awning, square back awning, so lots of coverage underneath. The whole camp sort of um, sheltered and you can put walls on here as well. Around the back we've got our ensuite. Okay, so this actually will fold up. It's a folding ensuite, collapses in, folds, swings around 180 degrees. <coughs> and uh, hooks up here, so very simple setup. But you've got your Joker hot tap here, this closes in, hot water shower, you've got your ensuite here, really good setup. Eye camp as well, okay, so we've got the awning taken off at the moment, but you can actually open the whole thing right up and uh, quite a versatile tent, the eye camper. Over here, you've got the kitchens. So we've got a swing out kitchen and we've got a car back kitchen. Uh, this has been the mainstay of our company Drifter for a long time. That's what we started building. Um, so we've got a fridge box, DPO, we've got a DPO here. Pull out with uh, the stove and sink and pump. Little DPOS here, so it's a small portable one. Everything files out to create lots of bench space. And the big fridge box here. So all these designs are a little bit similar. You've got your stove here, you've got your sink and your pump. This version, can, you can have a fridge in here, or if you didn't want to have a fridge, you can still use that for groceries, and it's a great little pantry area. Uh, we'll duck around this side. So yeah, we've got the big Hexa tarp here as well. That's the Hexa Evo Pro, very popular um, shade tarp. It's really changing the face of how we you know, can camp in Australia. Um, the big thing when you're camping is shade and shelter, and this thing is the best design available that we've that's on the market that can create so much shade and shelter. So it's just two poles. It's very simple to put up. I can put up by myself in about five minutes. And as you can see, it creates a massive area uh, under shade. Now you can combine this really easily with your Oz tent or your tent or your bunkers. 
So you can you know, tuck your tent up underneath this and it gives you a massive living area underneath. We've got underneath here iron grill table set up, so the Jacaro and the fire pit. You, you don't have to have a setup as big as this. But if you've got a group camping together, you know a lot of people are using these hexatars to have a couple of groups together, and this will be set up in the middle. So again, this is a line grill table, snow pick set up. It's great for communal camping, and uh, you know this, the idea of camping is to be communal and happy and friendly, sit around together and enjoy food, and nothing does it as, as good as what this type of setup does. Over here some new things, this is uh, Dead Men Off Roads, this is a sand recovery device, you dig that into the sand if you're on the beach, um, if you're on, mostly if you're on your own, so you can self recover on the beach or anywhere if there's no you know, trees or things around. So we're now the Australian uh, distributor for those. They've also got these really high quality soft shackles, okay, so pretty excited to get into these. Right, so that's a uh, 30,000 pound soft shackle, right, Turk set on top, comes around like that and uh, locks in. It's a little bit different style. This is an ARB one we've seen recently. All right, which is, um, you can just see the difference straight up in the quality. Right, eh? Similar Turks there, but I don't know how they end up like that. And this one's a bit weird. You can see how loose it is. Look at that. And also the style comes up like that. All right, so see the gap there? It's quite a big gap, you know. Whereas this one, a little bit different design, where it goes actually through the middle there, and it locks in a lot more securely. You can see that how it closes up a lot better. So that's the difference there. You know, that just uh, looks a bit changing to me. But these are very high quality soft shackles, and we'll have those available very soon. These are the Factor 55 winch recovery devices. New, um, we've just started stocking these. So there's pretty much three or four in the range and uh, super high quality, they're not cheap. These are, again, you know, super high quality product and very strong, really well designed. They've got exceptional design and pretty happy to be able to stock those. What it is, the basic system, a lot of people have got something like that on the front of their winch, okay? And if you go to try to uh, hook up a, a winch extension strap or a snap strap or a tree trunk protector, it's very hard to get both of your, uh, you know, your, say your tree trunk protector under here, and often this little latch gets broken off, okay, and you can't get a positive locking system. You can't get a positive lock, so if you're dragging through the dirt, and you know, that, it's easy for that to come off. So that's what most people have basically been using up until now, right? And <coughs> it's just not the best system, and it's not very safe. So how you do it with a... Uh, Factor 55, the idea is, okay, you've got that system there, so that's going to be on your, on the end of your winch, okay, so you take the hook off your winch, right, take that off, and that's a titanium um, pin, and that's going to be on the front of your winch all the time, that'll, that'll come up hard against your uh, winch on the front, that's that style there, or well, you've got this one here, which will sort of sit a bit flat, against the uh, front of the winch so it doesn't stick out as much um, but the idea then is you can put your um, D shackle, you've got to have a rated D or a rated bow shackle All right, you can put that through there and as you can see you can also combine that with a soft shackle right so you don't have to undo the D all the time or you don't have to undo the bow all the time that's now a fully secure closed system that literally can't come undone. You've got lots more room to connect up and much safer system. So you still have to combine it, okay, with a, a bow shackle. And it's very important too with bows that they're rated. Okay, it's been a bit of a clamp down in Australia on those. It has to be stamped and rated. And uh, so it's very important to have a rated bow shackle. So yeah, a couple of small, this is a little bit different design in that you can have it uh, through like that. So the pins at the front. Right. And this style here will sit flat against the front. So that will pull up and can go like that. So sitting flat against the front of your bulbar. This one here is a bit of a combination. So you've got the opportunity to put a, a pin through here. 
and you've also got a, a hook here as well. The hook comes with a small pin so you can actually lock that. Right, so there's no way that that can come undone. That's the uh, Factor 55 gear. Also a nice little uh, recovery alloy point for the back so very lightweight and your um, bow shuffle goes through there. Another quick thing we've got is we're starting to make up the drifters some of these uh, uh, ratchet straps. We've got some stainless steel carabiners, very high quality and it's military webbing so you know nothing worse than tying all your gear on top of your truck with a bright yellow or a bright blue sort of strap that are made in China, they rust up, they're just no good. And also with the hooks very hard to you know get a, a really good lock onto your roof rack, sometimes they will, will come off quite easily and uh, so we're starting to make those ourselves. Have a quick look out the back here. Yeah, so Tofty's got his Hilux here as well. It's got wrap wing awning, drawers, uh, roof rack, everything to look at. And, um, yeah, so Toft. Big day today. Sure is, mate. It's taken a long time, but we got there in the end, didn't we? Yeah, mate, it's like pretty hours. exciting. So, so <laughs> yeah, like I said, Tofty gave me a ring a month ago. I said, let's open a shop in Brindale, and here we are. So uh, opening day today, and a lot of people around. And uh, pretty excited, mate, isn't it? You know, yeah. we've got all the gear. So. Yeah, absolutely. Delivered a dot this morning, and um, people already been turning up in the shop. So it's been pretty amazing. And, like all the time, we've had a really good little trickle of people through. So yeah, pretty excited for this day, mate. And um, yeah, sure. thanks. You know, it's people flying up from Sydney and everywhere. You guys have been. I said it this morning. Like helped behind the scenes. All the Gloucester, the work staff there have had to be put under pressure to. Yeah. make this happen for us so yeah mate it's yeah. awesome just, you know it sounds easy to open the shop but tell you you know it's big a big shop. new thing for us because we've been sort of online retailing we're manufacturing and now you know we're literally bricks and mortar retailing and uh it's a big job a lot of new systems and a lot of development's gone into it so it's uh, been a been a lot of work <laughs> last you know a few months we've been a lot of trips up to, to brisbane bringing all the stock up here but we're, we've done it now and it's a great shop like i said it's you know a very unique place where you can come and see things in one spot where you can't see anywhere else in the world, particularly in Australia, so Absolutely. it's a great opportunity to come and have a look. Tofty's here every day and uh, it's great to um, show you around. So Absolutely, no. so thanks mate, Kaido behind the camera, I think this is where it all started and it's pretty cool, like I feel pretty privileged today to be a part of this, so yeah. thanks mate for all you've done and um, it's good to see customers like those guys who turned up this morning, they're pretty wrapped in a a dot, um, you shared a bit of a name there with me for it, so that was pretty cool to hand that over, and mate, I love it, so I hope to see you down here. That's just, um, I mean, the big thing I've realised about this shop is, uh, you know, we're, we're basically building now, we built we built great Australian products, we built an Australian company, and now we're about building an Australian brand, and uh, this shop is a big part of that, it's about um, building and showing our Australian brand, and showing what Drift is all about, which is high quality products that we've not just buying in, we've improved and we've designed ourselves. We design and we create a lot of what we sell and we sort of um, only pick really high quality products that are really good value. Yeah, absolutely. That, um, we don't just sell anything and we don't sell anything that we don't use ourselves. So we understand the products and we know what works and what doesn't work. And a lot of products that we've had, we've improved and improved and that's the big thing with Drifter as well. We, we basically improve, improve, improve all the time, redesign and make things better and better as much as we can. So. It's a great opportunity to come in and have a look at Drifter at our shop and see what Drifter is all about. You know, we're passionate about Australian manufacturing, we're passionate about Australian materials, we're passionate about the Drifter community and uh, Australian families getting out there, enjoying the great outdoors with good quality equipment and uh, that's basically what you can see at Drifter here is uh, what we're all about, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. I think like today, though, that family turned up, they're going to go over great east off camping, they got their en suite, they got all the gear. Yeah. And they've watched the video, so they know what that's going to sort of look like. But they want to go away and emulate what you guys have done, you know. So yeah. I think that's the cool stuff. And it's not yeah. hard to sell at this shop because everything, people trust the branding, as you said. But yeah. people also want to join that community. So that's, right. that's what I and love. And everything about. we sell too, whether it's drawers or awning, you know, everything can be repaired because we manufacture a lot of it. Yeah. And it's sort of purchases that, you know, it's a premium price, a lot yeah. of the gear. But it's something that you'll buy once and you'll have it forever you know yeah. instead of buying lots of cheap stuff that you use and you're not happy with you throw it away it's in the back of your shed and your shed piles up with crap you don't really use this is stuff you're going to buy once and you'll buy it and be able to use it forever really absolutely so, um, anyway come and have a look if you get a chance we're open all the time now not just today of course uh, Tuesday to Saturday every day 
and um, every week and um, Toff is here to show you around and I'll be up here as much as I can so thanks bro. Thanks mate. Really appreciate it. Thanks Cheers, very guys. much.